to do some cable management, so I'm going to also give some stuff, tips, like that you would like to use in your setup. So I'm recording this on a school computer, which is like, you know, after you get up in middle school, they have like other ones that have, they have the actual HDMI cord. If you have an HDMI cord, it works perfectly fine, plug it into the computer, but with most types, it doesn't, like it only has, let me, let me show you. It only has these type of ports right here. Like, as you guys can see, only these type of ports it has. So, what you would do with these ones is this one's the uh, U Green port right here. Not a sponsor, but I'm not saying you should buy it, but it's also very good. So, if you want to buy it, you can. So, over here, we have three USB ports one, two, three. So, these are for like external devices because on, I'm like, I'm saying on like a device or something you might have only one or two and that might not be enough so this is also good because it has three right here and then also let's see excuse me we have an sd card right here sd card holder right there we got an hdmi port like i was talking about it's right here and we also got like an ethernet cable uh plug in right here and you might be wondering if you have like an older monitor like over here, I have a newer monitor, but not an older. It uses this uh, normal HDMI cord. I can't really show you, it's not really that much light here. So, like here, I have like my ethernet right here. So I get connected for best games. So that's the area that I use. And this is a newer monitor, but most old monitors have like a two where you screw both of them. So this one, this U green also has a back thing right here. So I have two monitors upstairs. They're very, they're old, way, way older versions. You plug those both in, and then that holds that place in. They hold it in place. So this also works for uh, older monitors. So if you want, so this one I don't know what this is a price tag, but this also works for Mac, iOS, anything that you want. And also, but the thing problem, only problem with this that I would say is that when you connect this to like a HP computer or any like PC that you see, like. It doesn't really it's not that good because you can only when they when you try to connect it the hdmi cord has to go in the actual hdmi port that's on the computer but for a little bit like uh, com um, uh computers like macs and ios's like uh that they don't have the hdmi cord this will work but just saying like usually on hp that have the hdmi cord it'll usually ask you to put it in because if you try it won't but the thing is, like, like, on HDMI ports, there might not be many. Like, there could be just, like, two or three on an HDMI cord, and you might want to plug in, like, seven to, like, one HDMI cord. So this one will also help because it just requires one, which most HDMI and new computers are having nowadays. So it's, most of them will have this one, so you can connect, like, your mouse and your keyboard. So I go with the Razer Mouse, Razer Mouse right here. This is the pink version. I got this for stock. Don't know how much this is running for, but two battery also have a USB port. Um, let me sh should be around here like USB port. Over here we go for the uh, on budget five below keyboard. I think it, in practical use it's good, but if you're trying to go for gaming, you see over here, I go for the um I go for the Xbox Xbox Series S controller, uh, completely red with a uh, black button with uh, back white. So this one has it has good uh, thumb click over here and side button. Well, not really side button, but they're pretty good. And I also go with one of the razor. Um, what is it? Razor pogs. So these one will give me like absolutely no input delay when I'm playing on like HP computers, PCs. Like no, and completely no uh, input delay. So I like using uh, this. So on the pricier end, we for mics I would go. Like I would go for a blue mic. These are around like a hundred. So if I would have to say, I would do your research before buying this mic. There's plenty of other mics on budget, but if I had to say, this is definitely not. This is one of the old, uh, not the older versions. This is pretty new. It's the blue, blue, my uh, blue snowball. So it's one of the snowball. There's white versions of these, but I just picked up the black one. Comes with a cord like this. And then this also, I'll just connect to my uh, computer because this quality sounds very well. I'll give you, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example right now. This is the quality with no mic. This is the quality with a mic. You can tell it's a not too big of a difference, but if you really like recording videos like me, uh, it actually comes in clutch, and I appreciate. 
Yeah, you could find some better ones, like the ones that hang go down, but those ones are like priced at like 200, 400, and that's like, I don't know, if you're on a budget, like even I'm on a budget, like five below keyboard, like I would rather get a good keyboard than a bad ma a mic, but in my opinion, I would go for the mic, so uh, that's what I'm saying, it was not good. So back to what I was saying, main video of the point of this video is to cable management. And before we get into that, you guys want me you want to know my monitor is the A uh, A O C monitor. It's it's right here. I can show you. It's like right here. It's kind of it's literally black, so I don't think you can see it. But it's a very nice monitor. Like you can, it feels so nice. Like the buttons, there's a few buttons down here. You can off it and on it. But in my opinion, this is one of the best monitors. Like you're getting at least a hundred and. 110 hertz which is actually if you think about it not bad but it's also good at the same time and it's only arranged around like 100 or 110 or 120 dollars like in that area so definitely a good budget keyboard and then over here i have normal like ethernet like i just got the uh, amplifier so it just helps me speed up the internet because my ethernet's all the way upstairs and i can't bring the cord all the way down so Helps me tell if the internet's on or good, and if something is going around there. So as I was saying, I would definitely really re uh, recommend this uh, U Green. Um, that was a bad. That's backwards. U Green. Uh, if you could pick it up, I would re recommend this a lot. Just remember, if you're going for like an actual PC, then it should have enough parts for it. But if it doesn't, then I would uh, advise you to pick up something that have an HDMI that actually works because this one works. But it only doesn't work with like uh, windows that actually have or no ordinary uh, HDMI ones. So just the HDMI. You can plug in everything else to this, and then you can just just plug in that, and you would be fine. So and then you can plug in like your Razer mouse, your Five Below keyboard, your Xbox, and then your also your blue mic into this, and just plug in the HDMI to the cord, and you're fine. So let's get to cable management. So first we're gonna take this, and we're gonna. We're gonna start putting everything to over here. So we'll put our cable, uh, let me make it better. So we'll put our, we'll move the chair out of the way. We'll put our U green over there. Next that comes out is the mouse. I know I'm probably holding it wrong, but maybe you guys both wanted to see some of you guys a little mad. But so here we go, here is the mouse right here. The Razer mouse, I really like this pink and gray, it's super nice. And then next to come out was going to be our, uh, one of our controllers. So it's going to be our controller that's going to come out next. So it's pretty much the only one I can grab. It's pretty easy to come out. So we're going to get, make this one come out. Yeah. Guys, so I was, as I was saying, this is like a, one of the sixty dollar keyboard, keyboard, my bad. Xbox controller, I like it. Red metallic, black buttons, back white channel. Pretty stock though. I was not gonna add anything because of really the price of sixty dollars is pretty much a lot. So also with the razor uh, connector, most I think this was meant for a mouse, but just reuse it. You know, actually, yeah, just reuse. So next, that's gonna come off of our list. My bike just fell. Okay, whatever. So next that's gonna come up on this is a blue, our blue mic. So you guys already know what that sounds like, so I don't think I need to do a demonstration again. So this one is a little bit tricky because it's connected to, like I did something here to keep it so it doesn't do anything. Like, you know that thing up, so I'm, let me grab. After this, the keyboard's gonna come out next. Just, kind of hard to push. You don't know. I have like a little hole in my desk, and I just put like, like I sit here. I put most of it back here, and I just have a little bit left. So like, you can already see the wired management cable already that bad. So the next that we're gonna take is our blue ball mic. Good thing about this, it's super portable. You can just close all of these. It's super portable, and just keep it down here. I think you can take off the blue mic, but I don't want to do that right now. It's not that big of a deal. Next to come out is our keyboard, which I like to wrap around the monitor. Just to keep it nice and neat. And then uh, do it. When we take out the monitor, we can go more in depth on it. Like, uh, what is this? What is this good? So, this is stock five below keyboard. I haven't really meant to change it because I'm not doing a lot of gaming nowadays. So, works perfectly fine. Types, no delays, not that bad. 
for, for five dollars, which was ten dollars, which is a scam, but we don't know, we don't have that. So over here, we have the monitor that is going to be coming out. Well, let me get a better, get a better picture. So it's going to be coming out right here. Take off the HDMI, take off the power cord. And if you're wondering, all my supply comes from down there, so if you just kind of wondering where the power is coming from. So here is the Acer monitor. We got, it's I call it the Acer, but it's the AOC. We, this is actually powered by an Acer computer. So that's kind of funny. So here we have the HDMI port. You know all what all that is. The, uh, I don't know why you want to connect a, another monitor, but like, no, yeah, if you want to connect like an old computer, this works per, pretty much good. And then this is the power and that's headphone jack that works for my speakers. And that's pretty good. The screen, perfect. We got the bottom. I really recommend this monitor for gaming and any other sorts of stuff. It's super good, super non-laggy. So you can have like a fun time with your friends when playing Fortnite. My bad if you guys can just see my stomach for now. Placing the thing upside down. So fun if you just want to play like Fortnite. Like not that big of a deal. Not that hard to uh, do. So now we have our Google Home. We're going to leave that here. See, so this is the, this is what I'm talking about. Like even just with a few wires. Just even just with a few wires, it makes such a big mess. Like, look at all of this. Like, it's such a big mess. Okay, so oh, we're, it's like that's huge. So here we have the thing. So right now you can't probably see nothing, but so we're gonna push this through here, and we're gonna take out the HDMI because right now I don't think it's connected to anything. As we speak, of, oh yeah, yeah, there is yeah, nothing pretty much. So, see, like, as I was saying, there's two whole eye, ah, you can't see, guys, see nothing. So, I put it to, like, this, I put it down. So, it does bend the wires, but it is actually, after a while, if you think about it, it's actually kind of good. So, here is where I like to deep clean the entire desk, because you know how it's back here, and then, like, I don't have any figures back here. Like, I literally have a, what is it? A, like, a, a Yoda. No, what well, I said. I said Yoda, R2, D2, I'm not really a big Star Wars fan, so I don't know what this, I know who he is, but I don't memorize his name, put that up here, like we have a battery or something, I feel like I remember having something here, I like stick to it, so right now, I would like to deep clean this, because back here, it gets so super dusty, because you're not cleaning your thing, like there's spider webs, you all, like, I don't mean spider webs, just like dusty and like old back here, because no one's been here to clean it, so now spiders want to come in and infest it. So I'll do a deep clean of this. And then for now, for the video, we're not going to do a clean of this. We're just going to completely set everything back up. So uh, back here, so we're going to take the, um, let's, let's see, the uh, Google Home LT. We're going to put it to the side right now. And then we're going to first issue this. So we're going to put this around here. And as I was saying, we don't need this long of a cord to do it. So we're going to take this. We're going to wrap it around it. And we're actually going to just leave, like, just leave a little cord left. Like, just a little so it can just connect to the uh, monitor. Because there's no point of having all that cord in the extra mess. So what's going to happen now is we're going to add back our uh, uh, Google Home. And we're going to actually let it cool down. Before actually, yeah, it's fine. We'll plug it in. We'll push this more down unless we need more. And then we're gonna go get our monitor, which is gonna be right here. Right. And look, you can see the dust. Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you guys can see the dust. That thing is dusty. So, you quickly wipe most of that off. Like, because that, that's an area where no one will reach. So, we make sure that's clean. So, okay, so we're gonna turn this. We're gonna put this back how it is and then here's when you can reset re like adjust your monitor and for most people this can be a hassle because and you might find new positions so see yeah look the it is turning on so over here put it right in the middle readjusting so usually people will have two to three monitors so i really if i have to say i don't think there's a point unless you're like a full-time streamer which I'm definitely not because I only have 400 subscribers. But still, I'm not a full-time streamer. So for the most amount of time, there's not really a point of having three monitors. 
It's like there's not even a point of having like a, a full good ninety dollar gaming com uh, uh nine. I was about to say computer gaming um uh, keyboard. So I just bought the mouse because the mouse at one point I kept switching. Like I went from Logitech, I went from Logitech to Logitech to different 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 brands, and I just settled on the Razer because. It's good for gaming, good for working, both in the between. It has many, many options you can change. Uh, I'll have a link down below in the description. So, I'll have everything down in the description if you guys want to check out the setup and buy it for yourself. So, here, and also, we have the mouse pad. Just the normal, typical mouse, mouse pad, as I was saying. If you're not really a gamer, there's no point of having a full, like, 10 feet, like, mouse pad. So, I just like having one for my mouse. It's not that big of a deal. So, I don't like having one that's big. Because I'm not really pro or I'm not really like into playing Fortnite that bad. So this is perfectly fine. And I do play with controllers. So what's the point? So, okay. So here we'll go and we're going to reinstall the first thing. Which will be actually our keyboard. Which was our second last thing. So, well, this is where we can adjust. So let me move you guys to like a better angle. So here, we'll put our keyboard here. Put this over here. Make sure that's not wobbling. And then over here, we'll take this part, we'll put it behind the monitor, so it has like a cable management, and then we'll keep this, then we'll take a little, if I get this out of the way, then we'll take a little bit of this, curl it up, and then we put it into that ball back in the back. So, we'll put it in the back. So now, there's only just a little left for this, so now that cuts down on so much cable. So next, we'll take our mouse, and look at this. This is, like, this is humongous wire. That's, like, that's calling for extra sta uh, sta uh, cable management. In my opinion, cable management wires, they work, but then after a while, they get, there's so much of it, and there's no point of literally having them. So I have, like, a hole, like, just, not in my wall, in the desk that goes down. I'll show you that in, guys in a second. So I curl it up. And then I put it into the hole, and then that hole leads down to the bottom where that bottom is covered by the table. So you can't really see that the cable management is that bad. So yeah, now you get it down there. And then the thing is the mouse needs to, there's a one problem with this. The keyboard, the keyboard won't be moving because it's key, but then the thing about the mouse is it's moving. So you might want to pull back there and then that will also rip out some mouse. So I like to keep a consistent amount, where if it does come out, then it does come out. So we have a consistent amount, so I'm moving the mouse, and it's not that much is coming out. So that's good, because if I, and also the mouse pad, it sounds so, it feels so much better with the mouse pad. I'm super happy I purchased this. So next, we will actually bring out our uh, blue mic. So it's going back in order. This is actually even simpler. Just repeat the process. I like putting it on uh, our, my, wait, I like putting it on this side. So here, I can just get the, what is it, the cable, put it inside the mic, and then I can put this right here, and then I can connect this. I So say I want to connect this to the computer, which we will be hearing from, so the rest of the video. So we'll plug that in right now. It's a little better. Like I don't like being close to it, or also make some crunchy noise. So like, get away from that right now. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the um, uh, what is it? Our U Green switchback. But before we do that, we're gonna add all our wires and see how it is. And also, be even before that, I know, guys, I keep forgetting stuff. Uh, right now we're gonna we can't take this because we're using it for the video. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna curl it up into like the ball, like we've been putting it in. And then this is a good thing about the desk. It has like things literally meant for cable management. So this is a good desk, but mostly uh, re recommend Flexi's part where it goes up and down and super strong. I tested one of those with my friend's house and they're, they're amazing. So I'll just still leave a thing. I don't know if I this desk is anymore available. I think it's, uh, you have to build it yourself, which is a hassle. And you can, guys, you can see, I do have LED lights, they do work, but most of them are broken, and it's just cool to have them in, like, the area, 
So see, we put this down because this is also not moving. We'll put this with our wires. So then, now, last but, last, second but last, we're gonna have our monitor cable. So I have an actual extender monitor right here. Right here, so I'm gonna take this. To, uh, if you take it off, it has this. I like having this part because you can see how bent it is. Like, I'm not like even doing anything and it's already bent. Like, I don't even need to bend it. So this is actually super good to have because it extends it. And you might be like, that's more cable management problem. But it actually helps so much. Like now, it's good, very good, but then it usually bends that like a lot. And this saves this cable from bending and breaking. So I actually like this little uh, cable here, extender. Uh, I don't know if uh, you guys will like this, but I like it because it bends. So it bends here, so it doesn't bend over here. So that's actually pretty good. So you plug that in. Fits in perfectly, and you have this part. See, look, like, look, you can see the bend from it. I'm not even doing anything. It bends because it has to go behind the monitor. And then this is the thing with nothing. So that's actually pretty good. That's a pretty good difference. So now we're going to connect it to this. Uh, see. So there we go. It's connected. So then now we're going to do put this. Now we're going to take this like we've been doing. Take a clump of it and push it down over there. And this is a little thicker cable, but it, it'll, uh, eventually it still should fit down there. So this one will also not be moving, so we do not need to make this big. But it could also be moving, so that, there we go, we'll put that right there. So all our cables end up here, and this is already looking a lot nicer. Maybe you can tidy up a bit here and there, like get everything in order, like I'll put everything behind this one uh, uh, power bank of a lease the power thing that's powering the monitor and then after that we'll be fine for now so then after we're gonna add our um monitor my xbox right here so i don't have an actual xbox holder because those right now are kind of pretty useless because i don't have anywhere to keep it on my desk maybe back here so you uh, what i like to do is i take the i keep it on my mic like this like it'll be here but it might be right now bad so now you the Put the cable, put the mic a little bit back, and then take the uh, keyboard. Yeah, there you go. Now then take the uh, Xbox, and it's perfect. Now you take, put, do what we've been doing for the past thing. Curl it up into a ball, and put it through. So now when you put it through, it becomes so much less cable. And the before and afters of this, this should be amazing of how much cable management. And last but not least, we will add our U-Green switch right here. So this one will be a good beast. So we'll open up the port. Here's the satisfying part. We'll, pl we'll plug in all our accessories. And you can see there's many, there's four, but there's not, uh, there's not enough. But the good thing with this is that there's also one on every single device. Like except Mac, which will that that will only be the only problem. So you plug this in, plug this in, plug this in, and then you turn this, and then you plug. You see that curve? You see that curve that that sometimes breaks the monitor, uh, uh, not monitor like the monitor cable. And then you take this and then you turn it into here, and then plug that in, and then now you can plug in the monitor which is just said no signal because we haven't connected it yet to anything. And then for the Xbox that I was saying, why do we need an Xbox and a computer for not playing anything? So that you can just like change out and you can plug it into the computer, which should, if you guys are playing on Mac, I don't know why you guys would be playing Fortnite on Mac, but if you are, then uh, I guess that's the only problem for you. You can trade it out for your mic, but most people might have a wireless mouse, which would just completely just change it to Bluetooth. And actually, Change the fact of Bluetooth mouse. You could, I, I, oh, oh, mine didn't even, no, I made it, my bad. My LED broke. It's fine. Uh, so, you're already broken. So, here, this is also Bluetooth. It is, every single Xbox controller is pretty much Bluetooth. So, you just connect it to Bluetooth so it would work. I just like it because there's like zero input delay. So, before it was getting so much, but if you, if you don't really care that much about the input delay, then you can just connect it with Bluetooth. And it's not that big of a deal. So let's go over what we did here. So in today's video, we completely revamped the setup. 
we uh, we cleaned out everything. We worked on cable management. If I'm asking, if you said to say what was the biggest mistake here, if you if I could upgrade anything, it would definitely be the keyboard. And if I had to say, it would probably be the Acer computer that I'm, I'm making this uh, run by with. It is good, but after a while, it also gets beasty. Uh, I would change nothing here. The razor mount's perfect. Everything pretty much. I don't see why it's bad. So if you guys have anything, just leave it down in the comments. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.